everyone. I have another Japan haul and unboxing for you. Everything in this haul and unboxing has come out in recent months, so all of it is fairly relevant to this day. If you have questions about how to order any of these items, or if you are curious about ordering them for yourself, I do offer a proxy service for a lot of the online items because I do have a Japanese address, so I am able to ship items over here to Colorado from Japan. So just let me know on Instagram if you're curious about purchasing any of these. Today I have some Miracle Shiny series goodies. I have some chocolates that I'm gonna try with you on camera. Hopefully they taste good and they aren't stale. We're gonna find out. <laughs> I don't know what I ordered. This happens a lot when it comes to merchandise items from Japan because many items are pre-orders from last year. Ah uh, yes, now I know. I do remember ordering this. It is a giant Sailor Moon cat because why not? Now a lot of these are fairly expensive in the United States so I pre-ordered mine from Japan and just added it to a box to ship out here but this is a very cute Sailor Moon cat. It's a Sailor Moon cat. That's all it is. It's a Sailor Moon cat. <laughs> like what are what else can I say about it? This has got to be the most ridiculous figure that I own in my collection now. It is called a Mega Cat. It's the Mega Cat Project. They did come out with miniature cats that were blind bagged and you could get any of the Sailor Guardians. Plus I believe Queen Barrel was one of the ones that you could get. Uh, this is a licensed item. It is a Toei licensed item. It's got the sticker and everything. And here is, uh, here's, here's our cat. This is a Sailor Moon cat, yes. <laughs> She is made out of a simple soft plastic material. So this is a display item. She's not a piggy bank or anything. Can't do anything with her, but she's very, very cute. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a Sailor Moon cat. That's all I have to say about this. <laughs> she's really adorable. I love that she's got a little tail, a little nub, and she's got her little Odongos and a pair of adorable little ears. She's so cute. This is kind of derpy and ridiculous and I love it. Now I am very intrigued by these chocolates that I got through a proxy in Japan. These were available in, I wanna say these were available in like a 7-Eleven or something. Like it was a little Valentine's collaboration. Uh, they came out with all sorts. Some of them were shaped like makeup. I just wanted some chocolates and I really just wanted the tins because the tins look very cool. So these are the tins that they come in. We have this one that features it's Sailor Moon Cosmos, so it's very much advertising the newest movie, The Inner Guardians. On the back of this, it tells you what the chocolates are that you get in here. That's nice. And this is a Bandai Namco item. And it looks like this is for sale in Japan only. <laughs> Wouldn't you like that? Oh, those are cute. Oh, look at the little Luna one. These are adorable. There's no way that I could eat all of these on camera right now because I would get sick. It looks like most of these are white chocolate. These are so cute. Those, these, these ones are wrapped in foil. Uh, these ones are just plain. Very cute. Okay, before I eat any of these, I'm going to open the other ones. Now this tin features all of the Sailor Guardians and what's in here. It looks like there's a few different types of chocolates inside of this tin. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at those nice little cameos. Ooh. Okay, so again we have this looks like white chocolate, a little wafer, I believe. I have so much candy. I'm so excited. I love candy. I have such a sweet tooth and yet I'm very good about dentist work, so <laughs> no cavities. Oh, these are really cute. Okay, so these are all printed chocolates. And let's see what's in this one. Are these cookies? I think these are little like rice cracker cookies. This one says Sailor Moon Cosmos on the front and it features Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon on the top. These ones are individually wrapped, so that's really useful. So, okay, now that I have all of these opened, let's go ahead and try them. Hopefully these are still good. Oh yeah, yummy. Okay, I really like these kind of like rice cracker treats. So this will probably taste pretty good. Mmm, that one's really good. Yeah, that tastes delicious. I like that a lot. Sorry if I have chocolate in my teeth now, but that was really tasty. That was very tasty. The chocolate is not super sweet like you get with chocolate rice treats uh, that you get here in the United States by like Hershey's. So not as overpowering, not as sweet, lots of crunch, still good. So even though it's been a few months, those are still very good. They aren't stale. And let's go ahead and try a chocolate. I think I'll try a heart. I have two hearts. 
So I'll try a heart. I generally don't really like white chocolate. This might be strawberry flavored. I don't know, we'll see. So hopefully I like it. It is strawberry flavored and it does taste like white chocolate. Very smooth, very creamy, really tasty. Yeah, and again, it's not super, super sweet like you get here in the US. So the sugar isn't as strong. That actually was not bad. Okay, I'm pretty impressed. Definitely gonna eat the rest of those and then I'm gonna keep the tins for display. You will see these pop up from time to time in my Japan unboxings. This is a style doll that was released over in Japan. Some of these have come out internationally, so you may get lucky and be able to find this on an international retailer's website. But this is a very cute Sailor Chibi Moon doll. Uh, these are called Style Dolls and they are made by Bandai Namco. I only have one of these, so I'm probably gonna keep her in the box. However, I do have duplicates of the Sailor Moon ones, so I do intend to unbox the Sailor Moon ones and show you what they look like in out of the box. She's really, really cute. I'm so glad that I have one of these. I'm very happy to see that we have dolls for today's generation that are fairly inexpensive. So if you have the opportunity to purchase one of these, especially if you have like a little kid that's really interested in Sailor Moon and wants to play with dolls, then this would be very cute. That would be a very cute gift for them. Just make sure to get an extra one for your own collection. You know what I'm saying? A collaboration came out, I wanna say in the winter time, 2022, 2023, with this company called Dazlin. Now, most of the items I did not purchase. I felt like they were slightly too expensive for me, but I really like this hoodie and it fits really well. So this hoodie is super cute and it's very unique. A lot of times we get hoodies here in the US that look kind of cheap or they use the same art over and over again. This one, I like the design a little bit more. It's not as overpowering. I really like the blush rose color of this hoodie. Hopefully that comes out in video and there's some embroidery going on in here along with Princess Serenity on the front down at the bottom. Uh, I will show you some video of me wearing this too. What size did I get? Is this a small? Size F, 14. I don't know what that means. I have no idea. On the back it says Sailor Moon Dazzlin and we do have that embroidery crescent moon. It's very pretty. Now a couple of items to mention with this hoodie is there's no pockets whatsoever. No pockets on this hoodie at, at all. There's no drawstrings for the hood so it is just one size. You can't draw it around your neck. So it's quite simplistic in terms of features but it is a nice hoodie. It's kind of thin compared to a lot of my fleece thicker material hoodies. So this one is not going to be very thick, but for a little outer layer, I think it's fine. It is acceptable. I mentioned plushies. These are my plushies. I'm very excited about my plushies. They are so cute. I got these three plushies off of an online Japanese like secondhand market, Luna, Artemis, and Diana. I believe these were available as crane game prizes. They are super, super soft, very cute. I don't collect a lot of plushies, but sometimes I see one and I'm like, that's cute. I actually want that. These are by Ban Presto, and I don't know if they were available all together or if you had to buy each one separate or win them as prizes separately, but they are super, super cute. I love that they are embroidered, not printed on. And I love that we have Diana here with her cute little collar and her bell. She even has blush on her face. That's just so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. They're adorable. I'm gonna put them with my other plushies. All right, so shout out to Anime Osaka, which is where I was able to get this. This was only available in store. Don't ask me which store because I don't remember, but this is a placemat. It is a plasticky placemat that features Eternal Sailor Moon on the front. And with that, Anime Osaka also sent over this very cool flyer from Sailor Moon Cosmos as well. So here we have Galaxia in the background. Here on the inside, we have Tokyo. And then on the back is the roadshow information. Now this is a vinyl. During my Jimmy Choo unboxing, I had mentioned how I now have some vinyls and I have a Jimmy Choo vinyl for the Sailor Moon collab. And now I have this one for the 30th anniversary of Sailor Moon. So this one comes with two vinyls side A and side B on disc one, and then disc two has side A and side B, and they come with two separate series of songs. So we have songs on here like Heart Moving, Moon Revenge, Moonlight Destiny, Morning Moon, 
The other one has songs from Crystal, like Moon Pride, Eternal Eternity, Kayanon, Chianon, however you say that, Moon Effect. There's a lot of songs on the second disc that are from the newer series. That is also mirrored on the two sides of art. So on this side with the vinyl, we have classic 1990s Sailor Moon. On this side for the second vinyl, we have Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal art. Very different versions for two different versions of the show. On the inside, it features Sailor Moon and the Inner Guardians for both Crystal and 1990s anime. Do you want to take a look at the discs? Ooh, they're pink. <gasps> Love it. Okay, so here's the disc with Luna on it. This is the classic anime version. What's on the other side? Artemis. Oh, that's cute. So that's the first one. And the second one is also pink and it features crystal art of Luna. And I'm guessing, yep, crystal art of Artemis. Oh, cute. So cute. So I have bought the rims before I bought the car. So I don't have a record player for these. If you have a recommendation for record players, please leave them in the comments uh, because I do need to purchase one so I can actually listen to this while I'm hanging out in my Sailor Moon room. With my pre-order of the vinyl, I also got a pair of stickers and the stickers match the art on the outer casing for the vinyl. So these are blind bags from the Sailor Moon store. So these are stickers of each of the enemies. I have, we have Dr. Tomo, we have some of the witches, most of them. I'm almost at the witches five. So I'm just missing one witch and mistress nine and I'll have the whole set of stickers. Oh man, it's like trading cards. Sometimes I like to show you things that are not Sailor Moon. This is a cup that came from Starbucks that was released in spring of 2023. Very beautiful cherry blossom cup. This is hand wash only, but super, super pretty. I also was able to snag through a proxy this really beautiful tumbler. It says Starbucks on the front and it's very shiny and sparkly. That's cool. You can put tea in here and then steep it. That's awesome. I also picked up this really beautiful mug as well. I love Starbucks cherry blossom mugs that they come out with in Japan. Ooh, it's color changing. I did not know that. Cool. Oh, that's so fun. Cute. I really like collecting Starbucks mugs from Japan because we don't get all these really pretty cherry blossom or springtime sets. We get the studded tumblers and that's the only thing that people really go crazy for here in the US, but I go crazy for the cherry blossom prints. All right, I have a whole series of items from the Sailor Moon store. This item is a Sailor Moon key ring. Although I think I'm gonna display it because it looks so cool. This is a light up key ring. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love it. That's really, really neat. So this does light up. They have a whole series of these key rings for each of the Sailor Guardians. I believe these are still in stock on the online store. Kind of surprised because it's just so cool, but it does have a battery compartment so you can replace the batteries in here as well. This is just a series of clips. We have one with the 1990s logo and one with the Sailor Moon store logo. Very cute little clips. This item is really pretty and this is a fold out mirror. So just a little desktop mirror. I was kind of surprised that I did not have this yet, but this was in stock at the Sailor Moon store as well. This is a Sailor Moon store logoed plushie of Luna. She's super adorable. Look at her cute little butt. She's so cute. I'll definitely be putting this with my other plushies. I also picked up a whole series of pastel otedamas or tsume tsumes or samsums, however you like to say it. I like to say Otedama because that's what they are listed as, but these are for the Outer Guardians plus Chibi Moon, and we also have Tuxedo Mask. So now we have pastel versions of the Inner Sailor Guardians as well as the Outers. These are very, very cute. I love the little sparkly bows, and I love that they're pastel versions. Of course they would come out with pastels. I have a couple of blind boxes. These are little charms. Those are all the different charms that you could get. I don't know which ones I got. That's really pretty. So I got the silver crystal. That's very pretty. Cool. I got lucky. Okay, so I got the silver crystal and the golden crystal from Endymion. Oh, I'm so happy that I got both of them. That's so neat. They look really pretty together. I also have these two blind bags. Okay, so these are just little rings that you can put on like so. And these light up. These were available through the musical. Wow, that's really bright. That's like surprisingly bright. You can see Sailor Saturn and her planetary symbol illuminated with that backlight. Let's see what the other one is. Oh, I got Sailor Moon, yay. Oh man, good blind bags today. Here's Super Sailor Moon. Same thing with this one. You can light it up 
and it says Super Sailor Moon right there. Cool, very cute. Oh, I like these. This is a fairly large item that I got shipped out from Japan and hopefully, hopefully it's not broken. Okay, here we have a series of very cute plates for like tea time. Each of these plates can be displayed on this cute little tear tray. Let's hope none of them are broken. It looks like each of them features a different brooch or a different compact. So we have the transformation brooch, the crystal star compact right here. It's a gold foil print. And the last one is the cosmic heart compact. Very cool. <gasps> Cute. So I wanted to purchase this tear tray with these all together so that I could display something on the tear tray. I figured it would look really pretty and give me a way to display things vertically since you tend to run out of space horizontally in collection rooms. So I will be displaying this on my shelf behind me with something on it. I don't know what's gonna go on it yet, but we'll figure that part out. Uh, up at the top, you might be able to see this. This is an image of Luna in a crescent moon. So you do have a little bit of Sailor Moon art right there at the top. It's very cute. I had mentioned that I don't collect a lot of these Shining Moon powders because I do find them to be rather pricey, rather expensive. This one was pretty though. So this one is the Cosmic Heart Compact. This was released in 2023, so this is a more recent edition. Buying these secondhand after they have released is kind of pricey, so I generally don't. I'll just get the ones that I have access to and that's about it. Oh, this must be the little powder thing. The little powder poof. It's a little poof. So you get a poof. I'll leave that in here because chances are I'm not gonna use it. Here we have the compact. So these are makeup compacts. This one is very shiny. It is plastic, it's not metal. And we have some beautiful shiny and sparkly crystals. The holographic interior gives it a lot of bling. There's the back. When we open this, here you have a mirror. Hello everybody, there's my iPhone. And we have this little piece of plastic covering the blush. Or I guess that could be a highlighter. It's not pink enough to be a blush. That's really cute. Very, very cute, but these things run like over a hundred bucks. So would I recommend it? Not necessarily. Unless like this is a line that you really, really want to collect. It's not really something that I'm super into. I much prefer spending that money on like the Proplicas, even though they aren't as detailed. This is very, very detailed, very intricate, but I do think it would have been cool if it was in metal or even aluminum. All right, last but not least, I have the Miracle Shiny series. So these, so far four items have come out for the Miracle Shiny series. There are the Transformation Brooch, the Crystal Star Compact. I believe this one would be, ah uh, yes, the Cutie Moon Rod, and we have the Moon Stick. Now, unlike the Proplicas, these are smaller, and they also do not make noise, but they do make colors. So if you want something that lights up, but you don't care about having Proplicas because you don't want something that's necessarily real life size, you could grab one of these instead because it's smaller and they still light up. These are not as expensive. I would say these are much more like toys that you could give to somebody not super young, but maybe give to a kid so that they could have something to play with. And if they wanted to run around pretending to be Sailor Moon, there you go. That way they're not messing with your Proplica. You can give them this thing, which runs like 50 bucks or less. As I mentioned, it only lights up so here we have the lighting on the inside. On the camera, you might see it blinking a little bit, but it's actually a very smooth fade in person. So it looks like this restarts the colors. I'll leave that running while I unbox the other ones. Oh look, it started doing a thing. Now it's lighting up a bunch of different colors. Okay, so I guess it goes through a little cycle. So I'm going to start up all of these and I will show them all to you. Here we have the moon stick. Again, you can kind of see some blinking pulsating lights on the recording, but the frame rate of these in person is very, very smooth. So you won't see that in person. So I will leave that running through its cycle. Here's the Crystal Star Compact. This one has multiple colors. That's really pretty. So you have like different LEDs in here all lighting up at the same time to give you this very beautiful rainbow effect. I like that a lot. That is very, very pretty. That's really cool. How do you turn it back on? I want you to do the thing again. Oh, there's a, there's a button right there. That's how you do it. So no noises. So if you do have a kid and you want them to play with things, you won't get super annoyed. <laughs> I know how it is. My sister has children and I've given her annoying sounding 
toys for her kids to play with and she hates them. So these are things that don't make noise, but they light up, so very pretty. Very cute. I think, you know, if I was a kid, and I was pretending to be Sailor Scouts as a kid that I would have loved these. This one looks interesting. It's got like this little perfume bottle on the inside and that's the outside. So that's what it looks like when it glows from the exterior. You will notice that these are very, very intricate. So here we have like this Luna silhouette the crescent moon, we have a bunch of stars and crystals for each of the inner guardians. Really interesting design went into each of these compacts and the wands to make them look very, very cute. Here it has, says Sailor Moon. We have some roses on each side and this is an, a very pretty rose gold color. With the moon stick, this one also has a couple of different colors that it can do. And it fades through them. It looks like all of them kind of do similar cycles for the color scheme. I like that this one has the multi-colored gemstones in the center right there. And you also have these really beautiful stars going down the handle. We have Luna up here, it says Sailor Moon, same font as the other items. Ooh, look, it's changing to different colors. It's really pretty, really pretty. I like that you get kind of a cool fade rainbowy effect for some of the color modes. So yeah, that's what those do. Not much to say about them other than what they look like and what they do, that light up, that pretty light up. Oh, I didn't notice that earlier. So with this one, it's a little bit easier to see without the lights on. There's a silhouette of Sailor Moon right there. Very pretty. In the back of it says Sailor Moon. So of all of these, I think my favorite is the Crystal Star Compact. This is my favorite compact of all of them. And I really, really like the color of this, the rose gold color. And I also like the multicolored LED hues. I think that mode is very beautiful when it shines through. And I think it looks good. Are these good value for the money? I would say if you're a collector, of course, you would probably want these, but I think these would be especially uh, super fun for a, a kid to play with. Maybe not super young because they might be able to break it. These are made out of plastic. But you know, if they're an older kid, maybe like seven, eight-ish, nine, they might wanna play with this. It's very cute. I would totally give one of these to my niece and say, let's play Sailor Moon. And then she could play with it. I'm looking around my room thinking, do I have any other items from Japan that I should include in this video? And I do, I'll be right back. Okay, I have a couple of Ichiban Kuji items here and a couple of plushies. This was an Ichiban Kuji Princess Edition. Uh, this was an interesting one because they came out with single acrylic boards of, or acrylic stands of each of the princesses as separate ones. And then they had this big one that just featured all of the princesses together. So I was just like, makes no sense to me to get each one separately unless there's only one character you collect. I collect all the things. So I decided to wait until I found the board online for a relatively inexpensive reseller price since I'm not there to do the Ichiban Kuji lottery tickets in person. So this board is big enough that it does come with a couple of metal brackets that you can screw in to stand it up directly. But here we have our acrylic stand of all the princesses. This has some really, really good detail. The art is very clear and I love the roses that accentuate the borders of this art print. It's a very, very pretty piece and I think it'll look lovely on display. I also picked up this Ichiban Kuji. This is the Eternal Moon article, but it's an antique style case. I don't know if this is metal or plastic. It's probably plastic. It's plastic. A lot of the Ichiban Kuji items are relatively inexpensive, but sometimes they can be really cute. This I think is very cute. A little disappointing that it's plastic instead of metal. I think it would have been very nice if it was aluminum or metal. It's not, so I'll have to be careful about not scratching it, but I think this will look really nice displayed up in my collection room with all of my other goodies. That is very pretty though. It's very, very shiny. Hello. I was not expecting these plushies to be so big. They're rather large. These plushies are a little big. They're a little large. I thought they were gonna be like, keychain size, like these ones over here that I have in the corner. I thought they were gonna be this size. They're not. So here we have a plushie of Helios. He's very cute. I love his eyes, the little stars in his eyes. Super adorable. Uh, these are called the, I'm gonna have to translate that later. So we have Helios and then we have a very cute princess, small lady, Serenity. I need to fix her hair, it's a little squashed. There we go. She looks so adorable. Look at that adorable little dress. She's very cute. If you can find these for a relatively decent price, these are very, very cute. The embroidery eyes are adorable. She's got little hearts in her eyes. I also got Princess Serenity and 
looks like King Endymion. These are so funny. He has kind of a bad hair day, but there's your King Endymion. He's very, very cute. I love his mask. That's adorable. Then I got Princess Serenity. The fabric for her dress is a little bit different. Got to fix her pigtails. They're stuck. There we go. So there is Princess Serenity. Yeah, I need to like fix her hair. She's so squished from all the packaging that she shipped in. But she looks adorable. That's so cute. I think these are called Yume Chiku plushies, but I will have to look that up to give you the proper name. That is everything for my Japan haul unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I have so many goodies now sitting here on my desk. I can't wait to like display all these things, but I think I'm going to have to reorganize. If you have any questions about any of these, drop them down below in the comments. Don't forget to check out these two videos if you want more Sailor Moon. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe because I do a ton of giveaways. If you want to know how to purchase these items, oftentimes I can help you find them from Japan. I do have a Japanese proxy service, so I offer sales to help people get things here in America. So hit me up on my Instagram. I'll put the link down below as well in case you're interested. I'll see you next time. Jane.